I am very sure that I have addressed this in the past, but I have thought, you know what, why not make an entire video out of this question, letting people know why you came to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. This will solve two problems. One, it will answer that person's question in particular. And secondly, if anybody asks me about this after now, I will just direct them to this video. Do you get it? You get it. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Barbara Omoodo. I'm a lifestyle content creator based in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And today we'll be talking about why we chose the province of Alberta and in particular the city of Edmonton. I'm going to start from the very, very beginning. I must have mentioned previously on this channel, but I'm going to say it again, that on our COPR, which is our confirmation of permanent resident documents, what is stated there as the city will be landing in is Calgary. Yes, guys, until today, we still have that document. That is what is on the document. What this means is that prior to us arriving in Canada, we wanted to stay in Calgary. I'll go all the way back to maybe 2018, 20, yeah, 2017, 2018, when this conversation started happening. We sat down and asked ourselves, where do we want to stay? What are the things we are looking for? You know, what is important to us in our choice of where we want to start a family in Canada? If you go way back, you know that we stayed in Lagos, Nigeria. And the hustle and bustle in Lagos was something I didn't want to encounter or didn't want to experience anymore. I wanted a more reserved, more uh, fresh, and this is no shade to Lagosians. I didn't want all the pressure. I mean, I could do all I wanted to do, achieve all I wanted to do without having to be that stressed out. So that was important to us. We knew that we didn't want a city where there were lots of traffic, we knew that we wanted a more calmer city, you know, giving you the vibes of Abuja. So we also wanted an environment where we could settle in without, you know, being pressured, a, an environment that was not so expensive. We wanted that calm life, we wanted some sort of family ties, somewhere that we could raise children as well. So those were important to us. And that was one of the reasons why we ruled out, you know, cities like Toronto. We didn't want, you know, a place that was that busy and we had people that had lived there we have gotten feedback from them about the city so we we knew that no for a start we did not want to resolve some other places were too far off we knew nobody there so we just knew alberta was it for us now we had zeroed down on the province of alberta we had to now decide on the city in alberta we're going to stay but a number of people at the time were not coming to edmonton everybody was going to calgary and so when we were filling that form we also filled Calgary. We just felt, okay, Ed, we are in the same province with our friends, so it was still a win-win. We would still have, you know, access to them and all of that. When everything started to materialize, we started planning actively where we're going to stay. And at some point, we just told ourselves, you know what, this Calgary thing is not going to work. Who do we know in Calgary? Nobody. Like, not one person. Then again, our family friends were talking about, the husband's a lawyer, you know, they have kids that the same age as our kids, we needed their guidance to be able to settle in. So we're like, who are we kidding? What, what, are, what is the need for us in Calgary? So there and then we knew that we're going to come to Edmonton. So that was pre coming to Canada. I must even say before I go too far in this video that it's one of the best decisions we've made after deciding to relocate to Canada. Right from the airport, our friends came to pick us up. That, that's one of the benefits of having people that you can trust and that are willing to help you. So they came to the airport to pick us up. They came with two vehicles, they packed all our stuff in. If you recall very well, you know that we got our apartments before we came into Canada. We had access to a lot of things that most people who are landing afresh do not have access to. And so it was just an amazing choice for us. We could trust them with uh, the decisions we we're going to make. We could seek their opinions on stuff, we had shared values. I could trust them on, okay, this is what I want. And I knew they were going to run with that idea as well. Fast forward to when we're get, uh, coming into Canada, on the day we're coming to Canada, they had gotten us foam that we're going to sleep on. So we did not sleep on the floor. I know that those are some people's story and those are real, those are real stories. Those are what people go through to test them, but we didn't have to go through all those ones. Thanks be to God. So we had our beds in our room. If you go back to my old videos, you will see we had beds in our rooms already. 
We had cooked meals waiting for us. We had groceries, guys. We immediately came in that day and just started living our life like we've been here forever. Those are the kind of uh, help, the kind of assistance you would need. I mean, if we have decided to go to Calgary, there will only be so much that these people would have been able to do for us from that far. That's even too far. Calgary is too far. Even in the same Edmonton, I stay in the west, you stay in the north. It is difficult for us to even help each other because, to do stuff because we are literally far away from each other. However you want to look at it and everybody is busy, guys. The support I needed was a support of someone that was 5 minutes away, 10 minutes away and that is what these guys gave to us on a platter of gold. Like I recall, you know, our friends had to come to this house a couple of times to check stuff, speak with the administrator and be sure that everything was working well before we landed. She kept on sending us videos of what was going on. We benefited from that kind of assistance. Having them help us with our initial setting in stuff, like getting our SIN, opening a bank account, going to the library to register, getting uh, leisure access pass and all of those kind of program, registering the kids in daycare. We had all of those kind of help. We we're able to, to lean in on those kind of help because these are people that have been in the country, say five, six, ten years before we got in. They were able to give us useful advice. Perhaps we wouldn't have had all of those kind of ideas. We wouldn't have been able to explore all of those kind of options if we did not know. Our friends would come in the morning and take us to anywhere we wanted to go to. So luckily for us, she was on maternity leave at the time. We did that for maybe a week or two. That was the kind of benefits we enjoyed because we had somebody that was not living far off. We had somebody that was living literally four or five minutes away from our house. This is what you get when you have somebody. I'm not talking of someone that stays 30 minutes away. That is good. That is good. But sometimes it is not even what you want. You want somebody that stays literally next door from you to be able to lean on the support you need as a new immigrant and i'm so lucky that we had all of that even as regards getting a family doctor the daycare we wanted for the kids we were able to ask questions from them we were able to even use their contact even in getting a job as a matter of fact we were able to lean on their contact so for instance when it, everybody knows that to get a family doctor in this town is a big deal uh, some people are still on waiting lists as we speak so it was it, you, you know we're able to speak with them and find out oh which doctor is accepting patients who we could talk to if they could refer us to their own family doctor and all of those kind of benefits those are the kind of benefits you want to lean on and enjoy as a new immigrant and you cannot do this if you are staying far away from somebody you know or if you do not know anybody in the town as a matter of fact say the person you know is in Manitoba and then you you are here in BC yes you know somebody in canada but how is that person able to help you from that distance now in present day time and i'm going to use a very good example to illustrate my point a couple of weeks ago my son just started running temperature in school my husband and i had to be at work so when we felt he was good enough to go to school we took him to school him and his sister the school said they could not keep him because he was not feeling fine and we're like this guy is fine he, he had even started playing and doing all the stuff he was not running temperature but he said no even though he's feeling fine it will be nice for us to watch him at home for 24 hours that's their rule before you can bring him back to school we understood that and we're like okay but we need to be at the office all right we have our friend now guys listen carefully we have our friend who also comes to the same daycare i'm calling her right now they know they know us right, right as family friends so i said i'm calling her up right now she's going to pick ryan up take him to school pick him do all of the stuff you just put keep ryan till she comes she's already on her way at, we, we had already called her she was very close to the school and we're like ma no you cannot go to the office sir you cannot go to the office and leave this child here you need to wait until your uh, friend comes and pick up your son and we're running late for work i was like that what is and that money was so so dramatic so we called and we're like you know what we cannot wait for you wherever it is you are we're coming to meet you up there we're going to drop ryan with you and then we'll go so we met her up uh somewhere and then we gave ryan to her and he said you know what deal with this guys she took ryan to his school because they didn't want to keep him in daycare so she took ryan to his school why were we really particular about him going to school that day was because he had an excursion that day yeah. and he had been looking forward to that excursion so we didn't want him to miss it and we had paid for the excursion so she took him to school that day in fact by the time i was calling her from the office when it was time for pickup 
she had a, she was already telling me she was in front of the school to teach him and that was how she saved that day for us guys if not perhaps my husband and i wouldn't maybe one of us would have sacrificed work that day and stayed at home with the kids my son wouldn't have been able to go for his stuff i've just messed up the entire day for us but because we had you know our friend who she took him home made sure he ate guys it was already feeling fine so it was just that observance thing make sure she he ate she even picked up ruby at the end of school day and then we just picked both of them from her house when we came back from work that is what happens when you have people so in my head i'm like gosh imagine we do not have this kind of community that's just one of so many examples there are also times when we call our friends up and be like where are you guys they have kids that are their age as well so we're like we're sending the kids over and we're like fine and we send them over and they stay there for the whole day they do sleepovers there as a matter of fact they do sleep sleepovers in my house as well and we just have a good time it's the same thing for parties if you recall we did birthdays together as well like joint birthdays for our kids we've just been able to lean on this set of people and it has been profitable and our kids are really close they've been able to also build their own community so it has been such a a blessing proud to come into, into canada when we're coming into canada and now that we are in canada you know we have benefited from this kind of relationship i know it's not the case for a lot of people you know some people don't know anybody anyway in canada in that case you just choose what is best for you but in the case where you know somebody please this is not the time to say i beg i want my space uh, so that they will not say i can't come and press the person all right make sure you 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 need that relationship lean on it and if you have somebody that you can stay five minutes away from please by all means take that option you don't you guys don't have you will not even see yourself every day because everybody's working everybody's doing stuff but the time you would need help the time you would need a community the time you need somebody to lean in on you will have these people to help you and i i'm speaking from a point of view where you have good people that they are good people because sometimes you have heard of stories of people that have come in to stay very close to other people and they've not gotten the, the kind of support that they thought they would have and i that's such an unfortunate uh, situation and i feel for them but that has not been my story and that's why i'm telling you that for me I do not regret the decision of coming to Edmonton. Like a lot of things were put into consideration. The kind of work we wanted, if we'll be able to get those kind of work in Edmonton. Of course, you know that Edmonton is like the capital of the province. And so there are a lot of jobs in Edmonton. It's also the oil and gas, whatever, of the province as well. So there are a lot of oil and gas jobs if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking for like tech jobs, I think you know the kind of provinces you should be looking at everywhere has what they are known for right every every city have what they are known for so you have to ask yourself what you want what you are looking to achieve and where is the best place to get it a lot of consideration went into our choice and all of that informed our decision of choosing Edmonton as our place of residence in fact for a very random reason today my husband was talking about something he doesn't even know i'm shooting this video now or i was going to shoot this video as a matter of fact and it was just saying something today to me and he just said you know what i do not regret coming to edmonton and i'm like you should <laughs> like that is it that is it i am not trying to tell you to come to edmonton i mean if you have close family ties it could be anywhere it could even be outside canada say you stay in the uk but ensure that wherever you have somebody you are leaning in on them because you would need them as a new immigrant right now we have other people that are also living on us to you know to be able to settle in so i hope i've been able to touch on all of the reasons why we chose edmonton as our place of residence yes we love it here i've not been to anywhere else to be honest in canada so i really cannot say but everything i need to live a decent life i have it and so i mean if you have it more where you are good for you it's just beautiful that by the grace of God, God is settling us and yeah, we are happy to be here. Using this medium to say thank you very much to our family friends. I don't need to call their names, they know themselves. And yeah, let me know if you have questions about this and tell me about why you chose to stay in your province or your city. Or if you don't even stay in Canada, why did you choose where you are? And yeah, let me hear your stories about the community you have and how they have been supportive of your journey and yes thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye guys